The origin of karate was in ancient Okinawa, then called the Ryukyu Islands, which consist of many small islands and is located in the southern part of Japan. These islands were independent and developed their own unique culture, being isolated by the surrounding ocean. The background music you hear is the original music used for encouragement for warriors before and after a war in ancient Ryukyu. And now, Taiko Yata will introduce Ozato Castle. The castle is located in the southeast part of Okinawa. It is said that the castle was recited by Shomasoi Ozato Aji, the Sanan King. It is the castle Shohashi, the first ruler of the Okinawan Kingdom, defeated to unify Okinawa for the first time. After being taken over by Shohashi's family, the castle became a personal resident of Shohashi and his father Shoshisho. It lasted at least until the latter half of the 15th century as a beautiful former royal castle to be equivalent in stature to Shuri's Chuzan Royal Castle. Because of the length of the Kusan Kukata, Taiko Yata will perform each movement separately in the basic form, and the actual combination and motions will be performed in the advanced form only. Now Taiko Yata will perform the basic motion of Kusan Kunokata from the front view for memorization only. In this tape, Taiko Yata will perform Kusan Kunokata from the front view and back view only. Now, Kusan Kunokata, basic motion for memorization only from the back view.
As in Pasainokata, the basic motion is still relative to the natural body movement as the practitioner's natural spirit dictates. Consequently, the movement will appear different every time it is performed because the form requires the freedom of each practitioner's spirit. The basic movement of the kata training is mainly used to cultivate natural body reaction as well as the memorization of its sequence. However, in order to be a more efficient protection technique, the movement of the hands and legs have to be combined with speed, power, and accuracy. And as mentioned before, the freedom of movement of the body and spirit are considered to be a basic part of the correct practice of this form. Lastly, the striking motion will need to be added to refine the techniques of each movement. The beauty of the movement itself is like a shining sword but with no edge on the blade. It becomes practical to use when the sharp striking action is added, just as the edge of a blade is added. In this segment, Taiko Yata will perform Kusan Kuno Kata with an advanced timing at intermediate speed from the left and right angles only. For filming purposes, the movement is exaggerated as the actual movement cannot be seen by the naked eye when it's performed at full speed. And now Kusan Kuno Kata from the left angle. The primary unique characteristic of the Kusan Kunokata are the many variations to body motions with relationship to the opponent, which demonstrates a versatile footwork. Here Taiko Yata will perform Kusan Kunokata with advanced timing at intermediate speed from the right angle.
Taiko Yata teaches that true karate should be part of your life and should be effective throughout your lifetime, even at 90 to 100 years of age. However, in this generation, karate technicians are limited to the physical abilities of the practitioner. Therefore, we find many retired karate men whose techniques are no longer efficient for protection. Please keep in mind that true karate practitioners' should, techniques should be effective irregardless of one's age. The depth of understanding of kata can be measured by the breaking down method used by karate practitioners. The word bunkai, the method used to understand kata in depth, means to break down a whole into small parts. In original karate, each movement of kata should be broken down into pieces, examined carefully, and put correctly together to form one complete protection technique. Taiko Oyata's philosophy of breaking down kata into individual techniques is like individual letters of the alphabet being combined to form words. Only Taiko Yata understands how to combine these correctly. The breaking down method used by the majority of modern karate practitioners seems to be a simple arrangement of kata motion in alphabetical order. Therefore, it is not practical to use as a serious protection technique. A word can be composed when letters are arranged in different order, much like the formation of a high quality technique. The varied arrangement of the kata motion can be made from one kata or different katas to complete one self-protection technique. This breaking down method is possible only through deep understanding of each motion of kata. Because of Taiko Yata's understanding, he is the only one competent of guiding students to this understanding. In this tape, Taiko Yata will demonstrate the basic breaking down of the combined motions in Kusanku no kata. It is very important to know that the basic breaking down is just an example of kata meaning. The true protection technique is comprised of a combination of different kata movements from several varied katas. The detailed breaking down from varied kata will be shown in a special advanced techniques and nerve point techniques tape that will be available to you after you complete this 12 volume set. The techniques demonstrated on these tapes are very painful and can be dangerous if practiced without caution. Keep in mind that karate is a martial art and should be treated seriously. Therefore, these techniques have to be practiced slowly and carefully. In this next segment, Taiko Yata will perform the basic breaking down for the advanced movements of Kusanku no Kata at intermediate speed. This first technique from Kusan Kuno Kata, Taiko Yata will demonstrate the opening motion in the first knife hand of the form. Demonstrated from the yoi position as he opens his hand, slowly raises and forms a circle, followed by the knife hand strike, performed in the kata as such. Now the previous technique performed in slow motion for your careful study.
Here, Taiko Yata will demonstrate another variation of knife hand technique, demonstrated in the kata from the left hand knife hand switching to the right side of the body with the right hand knife hand. This particular technique will be executed only at actual speed. Simply by reversing the circular motion of the hands, several combinations can be formed. In this segment, Taiko Yata will demonstrate several variations of Kusan Kuno Kata movements from the knife hand position. The first movement from the opening set, the double knife hands, followed by the double knife hands overhead prior to the kick, along with the double knife hands to the low side of the body. And now, once again, for your careful study, the previous technique performed in slow motion. There are many different explanations for this next kata motion. However, watch carefully as Taiko Yata demonstrates his knee symbolizes or represents contact to the opponent's chest as his hands are placed on the opponent's back. When performed simultaneously, this performs a very devastating technique. Now the previous technique in slow motion. Pay close attention to the simultaneous touching of the knee and the foot in hand to make this one complete technique. In this segment, Taiko Yata will demonstrate the breaking down for the double knife hand strike kick combination performed in Kusan Kunokata as such. Once again, the previous technique performed in slow motion. 